On this week's Earth Juice, we're going to be looking at one of the most scary phenomenons in nature, sinkholes. Now you might have already seen this incredible footage of trees being swallowed up in a matter of seconds by a sinkhole in Louisiana. Thankfully on this occasion no one was hurt, but sometimes sinkholes open up in cities where they can swallow buildings, cars and sadly even people. But what exactly is a sinkhole and could they appear anywhere? In the case of the trees in Louisiana, the pond sits on top of an abandoned salt mine and it's thought the sinkhole might be a result of the surface water, soil and broken rocks moving into that underground space. But what causes the sudden collapse? The most susceptible areas to sinkholes are those above soluble rock, like limestone, carbonate rocks, and in this case, salt beds. As water erodes away at the sediment beneath it, underground caverns can develop, and eventually they get bigger and bigger until they can no longer support the weight of the land above it, and it collapses down. And that can take a matter of weeks or maybe a matter of years, and it's known as a cover collapse sinkhole. And it's the speed at which they happen that makes them so incredibly scary. Take the 2010 sinkhole in Guatemala City. Residents had heard rumbling sounds for weeks and then early one morning a huge circular cavern opened up almost instantly, measuring 18 metres across and 100 metres deep. Tragically, it was responsible for three deaths and the collapse of a three-storey building, the cause, a ruptured sewer line and the water from a tropical storm. And there was more tragedy earlier this year when a sinkhole took the life of 37-year-old Jeff Bush as he slept at his home in Florida. The sinkhole opened up beneath his bedroom in the middle of the night. The occurrence of sinkholes in Florida is sadly a common thing as it sits on a system of limestone caverns. The very nature of sinkholes means that it's possible that they'll continue to grow. In the case of Guatemala, with its population of 3 million, that's a terrifying prospect that another one could open up anywhere in the city. Sadly, sinkholes are pretty difficult to detect, but there are some small signs you can keep an eye out for like damage to properties, the sudden dying of vegetation due to disruption of underlying streams, or even the rapid formation of ponds and trees, or road signs looking a bit wonky. If you do get lucky enough to detect a sinkhole, be sure to inform your local authorities as soon as possible. As these remarkable images show, it's not just urban cavities that cause these gigantic caverns. The Sarisaranyama sinkholes in Venezuela are each over 305 metres in diameter, and thought to be at least that size in depth. That's not far off the height of the Chrysler building. Forming almost perfect circles amongst the lush forests, their home for plants and animals found nowhere else in the world. And because of their remote location, we still don't know a lot about them, which is why they continue to fascinate scientists. In Belize, the Great Blue Hole lives up to its name. It measures about 300 metres across and 150 metres deep. Created during the Ice Age when the landscape was mainly made of limestone, gypsum and dolomite, it's thought to be one of the largest caverns of its kind and was declared by Jacques Cousteau one of the top 10 dive sites in the world. This ocean sinkhole is now listed as a World Heritage Site thanks to its significant biodiversity and attracts divers from all over the world to see its submerged caves and the sea life below. The largest sinkhole on Earth is the Katara Depression in Egypt. It measures a staggering 120 kilometres wide, 80 kilometres long and 133 metres deep. So essentially it's a sludge filled quicksand pit that covers 18,100 square kilometres. Have you ever experienced a sinkhole? If so, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And if you like nature and science as much as we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next Tuesday for the latest news on another edition of Earth Juice. Fire tornadoes are in fact a real thing, and they happen in nature on an epic scale. So today what we're going to be doing is a bit of a taste today. We're going to build a small scale experiment, shoot that in high speed, see how that goes in preparation for our mega fire tornado, which is going to be coming up soon.